Hello everyone, Kyle Newman aka BotThe1912 here and today I'll be in Unity 3D5. Um, I've been working on this game, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet but um, it's a bit like Portal. Uh, I'll show you the game just now if I play it, so here we go. Ah, oh, hello. Welcome. Good to see you. You can go wherever you want. Just go go over there if you want. Go left. Okay. Go right. Up to you. Do whatever you fancy. Doesn't matter to me. Just go. Just go somewhere. This is this is amazing. We can we can walk wherever we want. Look, just go left. No, go right. Go right. Don't even care. Don't even care. Just go wherever you want. Couldn't care less. Okay. Well. Hello and goodbye. We'll talk later. Okay. So like that's my weekday. Uh, I've just left two animations looping to give the effect that is alive and that's the people moving around and his body just randomly moving. Uh, cool, so we've got uh, a 3D portal gun that's animated to look like I'm breathing if I hold it still. Yeah, and I'll prove it's 3D, I'll move it around, you'll see the light move around on it. Alright, um, also, because it's a portal gun, it obviously does this. That shoots two colours and you can teleport between them. Now it's still a bit glitchy because it, like I've been making it within a weekend just now. Alright, so this is a button that's supposed to be broken. It's part of the test. Which test one here. Instead of Aperture Laboratories, we have a little logo that says BD1912 Laboratories, short for Block 1912 Laboratories. Um, we've got test one with that nice shine to the metal there. Uh, get to the other side. Okay, so that's what we better do. Now, I'm just going to run across just now. Cool, so we've got test two. Get to the other side again, like the last test. No portals yet. Well, the truth is there is. I've showed you them. Sorry about that, I just clicked the button. Right over there, and then one over there. Yeah, we'll walk through that. And we're over here. Go for this one, we're over here. It's really fun to play around with. Okay, now we've got this green liquid which hasn't been programmed to kill me yet. See, I can walk around in it. Oh, yeah, the portal gun lights up. You can see that on the wall. Um, so like, let's just pretend I made this jump and we'll jump onto here if I can. There we go. Okay, yeah. test three reads. Still no portals, but what you can do is hold shift and the arrow or W, A, S and D keys to sprint. If you use this skill to cross the liquid, also use any floating items to jump on and avoid the liquid. So um, we'll do that. Okay, this is just a random floating ball, but it doesn't quite float. But you can kick it around, move it with your portal gun, like just whack it. Caught in portal gun, like, move it off, and you can move it into the water. Let's see if we can get that to happen. There we go, it's in the water. Roll around. Being honest, it does look kind of float, doesn't it? Right. We've got these objects over here that are floating in the water uh, with a nice looping animation. Gives the effect that they're floating. I'm not sure what I've done, but I think I've lowered them. I've definitely lowered the water somehow. Maybe we can see that. I designed the textures in a software called paint.net and then I made a second texture to put on it called the normal mat, normal mat which um, tells it how to shine as you can see here it's shining in all the dents and stuff like if you look at how it shines on the glass you'll see it it shines in certain areas differently. Uh, we've got this glowing ball here as you can see it just lights up no, it is still glitchy and what you were meant to do there, what I didn't do, was jump on these obstacles. 
like so. And then on the last part, you would like have to sprint to make sure you make the jump. And this is where the end of the game is here. I've just gave it a random space skybox in case you click out of the world. Because like, where like if if you clip out the world, you don't want to see that normal blue sky that you know gives you this. If you were to clip out the world, um, if you were to clip out of a wormhole or a black hole or a portal, technically just a wormhole thing, um, I'm pretty sure you're most likely to end up in space. So that's what I've done. Now I'm gonna do this. Okay, so um. This is the Unity interface thing, I'm going to just turn that off the like, lighting thing because it's making it laggy. Uh, just going to show you around, this is it from above, we've got this big liquid here and we've just got um, this little thing with that basic normal map, height map. Right, just, it's good for the bottom of the lab because then it in the water if you try if I try to let you see. Right, we'll go in here and then in the water it's got this at the bottom as if it's like rotting away everything. It's good if you ask me. Um we've got this grill also as a normal map just to tell it to shine right like here and there we go. Uh, what else do we have? We've got this glass that's in the way. Uh, then, yeah, this is really what Unity is. Just, it's a game making software. Cool, so, once the game is done, um, I'll show you it. And I'm not a hundred percent sure I can get this to happen, uh, but I'll try to somehow make the game downloadable so that you can play it yourself. So we'll stop the video here and goodbye.